Okay guys, in this next video we're uh, going to have a little bit more of a challenge. It's a little bit more tricky. The reason is I can't adjust this protractor on my computer. Now if you're sitting at your desk, uh, you can have a little bit more wiggle room and move your protractor around or turn it or turn the uh, piece of paper that has your angle on it to find that measure. So I'm going to delete this protractor in a second and pull up a tool that will be useful in finding the measure of this angle. All right, so what we have here is a digital protractor. And you'll notice it's a little bit different than the protractor you have at school, that traditional one, which you have. It's a half circle, and you know that a half circle is 180 degrees. So I've got a full circle, and a full circle is actually equal to 160 degrees. So I can measure 160 degrees here. Well, the first things I want to do is line up the central point of my protractor with the actual vertex of this angle. From here I'm going to have to turn my protractor so that the blue line here, that blue line, is level with the baseline of this angle here. So let's go ahead and turn it. And I'm going to line up those baselines. And from here I can see, yeah, the measure um, of this baseline my ray is passing through zero degrees on the protractor. So the next step is to move along the edge of the protractor until you reach the second ray. And we can see that that ray passes through the protractor at 60 degrees. And we can note that right here, right at the edge of that green dot. So let's go ahead and get rid of this protractor and actually write down that value. So I see that the measure of this angle is equal to 60 degrees. Cool stuff.